Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, today I thought I would just go through the differences between a double-sided tape or double-sided adhesive canvas and a poured glue canvas. Uh, I remember when I first started diamond painting, I was quite confused about which was which and what you did with them and everything. Um, I'm just using little canvases on these. This one is a 20 by 20 uh, and this one is a 20 by 30, basically so that you can see them side by side rather than faffing about with bigger canvases that you know you, you can't see side by side. That's all I'm doing it for. Um, this beagle picture was actually from Row Diamonds. Um, I did buy it last year, I think February last year, looking at that. Um, and I do believe that they are now doing um, poured glue. So the difference is then, um, a double-sided tape is basically like your double-sided sticky tape. Um, if you've ever done crafting, card making, um, lots of different crafts and uh, even professions, you use a double-sided tape. And it's basically um, like a normal sticky tape that you would use for wrapping parcels, things like that, which is sticky on one side as normal. Just grab a piece of paper. So yeah, so it's sticky on the normal side as it is for normal sticky tape or cellar tape as we call it in the UK but then it is also oops just turn that off so it is actually sticky on the other side as well so you can just peel off your carrier sheet which is like a, a, a similar to like a waxy type paper um, so that nothing particularly sticks to it so it's easy to get up and then you end up with a sticky surface underneath. So that is your double-sided tape, double-sided adhesive. And basically, a double-sided adhesive, a double-sided tape canvas is just exactly the same as this, but bigger and in bigger strips. Uh, this one has come in two smaller strips. So as you can see, it's the same sort of carrier sheet as your tape, but bigger. Uh, you can actually get them, uh, sometimes you would get a picture this size and it would just be one piece. So you can get various different sizes from sort of this size right up to huge sizes um, so that your picture would just be one big piece of double-sided tape. So yeah, so that just peels back. Oops, she says, trying to get a nail underneath it there. So that just peels back, reveals your picture. You have a very, very sticky picture because tape is very sticky. Um, you know, if you've used double-sided tape, then you will know how sticky it can be. You quite often get very, very sticky around the edges because they do tend to go over the edges of the picture. So you would then use um, a very low tack tape. Um, this is what they call washi tape and it's like, very very thin like masking tape that you use if you're doing decorating or something like that if you you know doing say skirting boards and you don't want the paint to go on you would just put this you don't want it to stick forever but you want it to cover over so you would just literally go up to the edge of your painting and put that on and then it will stop you getting anything stuck to the edges to the sticky and you tend to find that a double-sided adhesive double-sided tape canvas tends to have bigger overlaps and on the edges and a bigger sticky surface. Now this will just literally lift back up because there's, it's very, very low tack and it's designed to do that. You can actually stick this onto paper um, and then take it off again. It's not just these sort of surfaces. So that's your double-sided tape in a nutshell and that's what it is. Now, if you're unsure as to whether it is a double-sided tape, if you actually, let me see if I can get this. If you actually lift up the carrier sheet, you can see there the edge. And you can, if you've got a nail or... Sorry, I'm at a funny angle doing this. If you've got a nail or a um, pair of tweezers, you can actually lift it up. And it does come up and you can see there. I've got a little bit of the tape on my finger there and you could actually peel that completely off. Uh, sometimes when you get a new canvas, I know recently I've done an unboxing um, and as I've lifted the carrier sheet up, then the double-sided tape has started coming off. 
so that's how to tell you get a very definite sort of ridge and line so if you're not sure you can always just lift a little bit up and just check but plus as well if it comes in pieces like this and um, you will be able to see you can actually see there where it's just starting to lift up just slightly where the two edges join together there okay so that's your double-sided tape and how to tell the difference as I say they do mainly come with like the carrier sheets like your tape on them um, and that's what they will look like there are always going to be exceptions to the rule so you know always do check um, let's say just lift up the corner and if you can lift up that tape you can just see yeah you've got tape there and that is a double sided tape now your poured glue is basically like um, Craft Buddy do a crystal art magic glue and also I think diamond dots do a glue where you can make your own canvases and basically this is like um, a tacky substance similar to sort of glue um, a little it looks a little bit actually like your sealer but the difference between this is it doesn't dry so when you have actually put it onto a canvas and um, it stays tacky so when you peel back the clear covers on a poured glue it's very very tacky still underneath so yeah so when you're using this uh, and i presume they do it on like an industrial scale um they're pouring a substance like this on it goes on this one goes on white i'm presuming that theirs will be something very similar but probably put on by machines i don't know if they do it by hand or not um and once it goes clear then that means that it's like cured that it's firm enough uh, to have a cover sheet put on it but when you lift the cover sheet off it is still tacky underneath to be able to use it as a tacky surface if you tried putting the cover sheet on it while it's still wet then it's just going to stick to both sides and you're going to end up with a very uneven surface so this needs to be like very flat so then be able to put your diamonds your drills your gems on so that it makes a nice flat picture it's more complicated to do uh, i would say it's probably more time consuming if they do do it by hand then it will be a lot more time consuming because you've got to wait for it to dry whereas obviously this is like a dry adhesive so once it's on it's on and you can move on to the next one you know you literally just put your cover over your um, tape over the top and move on to the next one tape over the top move on to the next one these you've got to wait for it to be dry enough to then be able to put your cover on it and move on to the next one i'm presuming that you know they'll they'll have it on like an industrial scale not on a, a little scale like this um i am going to do a video using this uh, crystal art magic glue to turn a double-sided tape canvas into um, a poured glue canvas so we'll ha see how that goes so keep watching uh, and that will be in the near future that's one of my next videos to do but yeah um you can sometimes and i have had and if you've watched my videos that i did of my three custom unboxings from craft buddy crystal art they were actually double-sided tape canvases that uh, came with a clear cover and I thought they were poured glue and I was over the moon because they looked so good but then actually when I lifted up the cover I could see on the edge that there was a ridge and that I could pull up the double-sided tape and they were actually double-sided tape canvases with a clear cover on so it's not always a hundred percent when it's got a clear cover uh, that it will be a poured glue canvas i think you can see on this i'm hoping you can see that there's no ridges there's very little edge on this and there's nothing coming up i can't pull anything off it is just like a poured glue as it were just an adhesive put on top so the differences between them and you will have your own preference i prefer a poured glue because when you put your drills down because it's like a tacky just a tacky glue you can find that your diamonds your drills you can move them around once it's on there you can actually get it off easier 
and it will move because this is actually adhered completely to the canvas underneath. It's not something that's put on top that can be taken off or that anything can happen to as such. It is literally, once it's on, it's like a glue and it is on and it, it will stay there. Um, you can't get this off. So that for that reason, I prefer it. Also, it is easier to look after because you can roll it up again um, you can scrunch it and it will just lay back down flat again. So once that poured glue is on, it stays nice and flat because it is like basically part of the surface of the canvas. The double sided tape one, some people prefer it because it is a lot more sticky. And if you are somebody that's very good at precisely putting every drill down and won't need to move a drill or remove it, then you will find that this is so good and sticky that your drills will stay exactly in place and you're going to get no movement and you know some people do prefer it. I don't have very good eyesight so I tend to prefer to have a little bit of wiggle room as it were so that if I put a drill down and it's not quite square which happens quite a lot then I can move it to where I want it to be. Whereas I tend to find if I put something down on a double sided tape and it's not in the right place, then I have to lift that drill back off because it's not anywhere near um, as pliable. If you do start trying to push a drill on a double sided tape, because this is like an extra layer put onto the canvas that is movable, you can actually take it off. You can find it can tear. It basically, as I say, is a sellotape. And have a look at this. If you start trying to push this, you're going to get ridges in it and it's going to push. If you can see, we've started to get a ridge there. I'd say it's basically the same stuff. This is a double sided sticky tape that I use for my crafting. But and it can tear. And then once that glue's torn or moved away from the square that you're trying to put it on, unless you put another glue or something on it, you're not going to be able to get your um, gem, your drill to stick back onto that canvas. So it's something to watch out for. Also, if you do roll this up, because the tape can be taken off, um, you'll find that you can get, as I say, air bubbles underneath basically all that is is because you've bent the canvas in a certain way the glue the tape the tape has actually then separated from that one part from the back of the canvas and it then just leaves like a bubble if that happens you can just use a pin or your really pointy tweezers to just pop that bubble and put it back flat again the aim is to keep your uh, canvas as flat as possible so your drills lie as flat as possible otherwise you're going to get them moving slightly rubbing together and um, make your spaces smaller and then you can get what they call popping drills which is where drills don't lie flat on the canvas all in a line they start popping up in different places and you keep having to pop them back down so that's your popping drills uh, you can also get what they call rivers and that's where the double-sided tip stretches and if it stretches and then goes back down you'll get like a, a like a concertina effect so you'll get like a ridge of the double-sided tape again you can just score that with your scissors um, or with your tweezers and just again flatten it down your aim always with this canvas with double-sided adhesive double-sided tip is to keep it flat uh, if you've got any questions, if you pop them in the comments down below and I will try and answer them. What I may do um, is get one of my double sided tape canvases that is actually not very good quality at all. Um, I've got one that I did get a refund on because it came in such a state. Um, this was before I started doing my YouTube channel, but like everything, I can't throw anything away. So I have still got it. Um, and it's still got all the ridges and bubbles and I'm going to try and repair that one possibly make that one into uh, a poured glue canvas so that's basically your differences um you tend to find that i think the double-sided tape 
can be less expensive because as I say they're not as labour intensive to make or that's what I believe as I say, I've not seen the factory actually doing them but I can imagine that putting that tape on is a lot quicker than putting that glue on and waiting for it to dry okay I know other people have made videos on the difference between double-sided uh, adhesive and poured glue but uh, that's just my take on it as I say there's room for everybody on diamond painting and it just you can get a different perspective from different people so I hope you've enjoyed seeing this and I hope uh, I've given you a little bit of an insight into uh, the differences and if you've enjoyed seeing it then if you can give me a thumbs up that would be much appreciated as i say any comments any questions just pop them on the little comments thing down below and i will try and answer them to the best of my ability but if you want to come back and see more and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button in the corner and the little bell next to it you'll be notified every time a video comes out and you can see what's happening okay well thanks ever so much for stopping by and i hope to see you all again soon bye for now